Welcome back upon for the next part of Limbo's Company. In the last part, well, a lot happened. We saw the entire meeting, the entire background story from Sinclair, how they met Chroma, what happened with Chroma, and well, it wasn't pretty. It, it really wasn't pretty. He lost his entire family on Christmas. His entire family. If Damien wasn't around to give him a little bit of a confidence boost, he would have probably died on that day. Or not even on that day, the day afterwards once he woke up on the streets. He lost everything on that day. Everything. <sighs> We really have to teach her a lesson. This has to end. He, my little boy is no longer tormented by your nightmares. I'm telling you, this has to end today. This is going to end today. I'm not even sure how many years it must have been since that event. He never mentioned his age. <laughs> that could have been years now at this point of time. He was a child back then. He was traumatized for life. Not, of, not only because of Lobotomy Corporation, but because of this freaking girl! God damn it! Right? God damn it! The Hill of Corpses. Flashbacks to, to a ruin that ravages Sinclair's life in a storm comes, comes to no end. Chroma is the only one with feelings to show, and hers is an uncontained satisfaction. I am so satisfied with you! Really? She's she's a lunatic to the very end. Okay, fine. Let's see what's going on now. At the very least, Guido didn't show up again. Right? At the very least, him. He's finally dead. <sighs> okay. Well, Sinclair. Were you able to find an answer in your heart's path? Chroma. <laughs> Oh, don't give me that look. It's not even time yet. You're making me want to kill you. Uh, no, no, I should obtain. I can't let immediate entertainment distract me from the more important thing, right? Sinclair, the only way to retrieve a golden row that's begun to resonate is... I know. Huh? Even if it weren't for our mission, I would still tear that bitch to pieces and drink up her remain- No, don't do that. Don't ruin your body with her blood. <laughs> oh, Sinclair. When did you learn to act so tough? <laughs> That's not like you at all. What a riot. <laughs> oh, God. Still. Well, I guess you've made some friends since then, huh? You won't run away this time, now will you? Well, seems like she's amused. Very amused. Aw, come on. 88? But then again, wait a second, it makes sense. It makes sense. I would have gone for 66. But it also makes sense. Wait, they're, they're top uh, A very so merry night. We hold dear. Okay. So many, so many regrets brings me to tears. It's singing again. Okay, before anything else, we're going to read all those lines. Not merry, not many, not many noticed, nor cared. My savior. Sounds like Roma. Oh. Maybe the people around. Why does a common fire... No! I can't read this! Oh, it's so... Uh... Warmth? Light? If only we could be forever naive and pure. It's been a while since I had those lines. If only we could lead... Painless futures. If only there could be a forgiving world. A 
It takes a very long time for those lines to spawn. Even the O's take a very long time. <laughs> In Runa it was a bit quicker. It's this time of the year. A very so merry night. We hold dear. Okay, now they're already repeating them. Okay, that's good. Now, where was I? Sinclair's shiny. Very shiny. The courage to triumph fear. Turn start. Gain one strength and power up in protection. Okay. It's good. So he has a, a slight boost and the side is activated as well. Not entirely sure what this one is doing. But it is there. Okay, so what do you have? Uh, nails? Six blades is not so bad. And one nails. Can I see more? Nope. You have a passive? If you have collected three or more assigns, and clear gains one power and protection every turn. You must accept the pain. At the start of the turn, if the unbroken part has bleed burn, it's 50% of max HP and gain free attack power up. Oh. The healing status effect gains and gains are decreased based on the numbers of sign. It goes down to zero. So she doesn't get the attack boost. Right? The healing effect it starts get healing effect also goes down. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Is it just burn? Bleed and burn. Rupture is fine then. Right? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna figure that out later. We're going to figure that out later. Alright, uh, we're going to figure it out right now. <laughs> Oh, that's still fine. This is better. I need to go for the direct confrontations. You can pick this one up. Then we have a free hit with this. And 17, 15, 27. Okay, that seems to be a good clash for everyone. And we st- What? You won that? Ah, oh, right. We have zero sanity. Ah, oh, no. Oh no! I almost forgot about that! I almost forgot about it, but it's still fine. Faust is still able to win without any issues. Actually speaking, thanks to the... the ego that we have... Ash! Oh, never mind, she's still on one. Everything's good, it's still on one. Okay, I wasn't able to get any of my talisman, which is a bit unfortunate. But it could be worse. She's getting a bit faster. Uh, what's... In combat start, gaze into the target for the next... G gaze? Next turn. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what. I'm not really fast. But I could technically lower her stats. Which also lowers my stats. Should I do that? I can't really redirect it. I can't use it if I can't redirect it. That's the thing. <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, but I can get some sanity! Yes, please. Let's do that then. Does everyone have something selected? Not quite. We also still need something. Okay. That's a good hit. Still losing sanity, which is not so good, but it's fine. At least now I can regain some sanity. There we go. Good hit. Bleeding a little bit, but that's still fine. Tremor has been applied. There we go. She's staggering me? Gaze of the one who grips. Stagger for this turn. Take 100 plus damage from... Oh. 
Well, uh... Well, I'm certainly going to use this ability. Screw that. Literally, screw that. I'm even going to go for... Do we need to heal? I don't need to heal. I mean... Let's go for this one. This one is cheap. It doesn't do that much damage on my character. It's fine. And I need more attack boost if I can get that at least. Chances aren't really that high, but we have to live with that. Right? We have to live with that. Okay, let's slow her down. Take it down as well. Hopefully she's not gaining any more of those dices. She already has five. Just quite a bother. There we go. Good hit. Now everyone's going to get a quick heal. Ah oh, no, never mind. I used the other one. I forgot! <laughs> I forgot for a second. I no! Okay, wait. Wait. Yes. Yes. Yes, Ryoshu. That's my girl. That's my girl, I was about to say. Okay, she's trying to inflict even more. Please. Can I get that for... For him? Maybe. Yeah, I should be able to get that for him. Gain attack power in his next turn. Yes, please. I'd love to have that. She's really weak right now, so I can use this opportunity to do whatever. Like gaining some talismans, because I need that. And lower her attack power even further for the next round. So that goes towards her sword. Okay, that will be fine. We are all debuffed to oblivion, but it should still be fine. He has one stat higher than her. <laughs> he has one stat that is higher than her. It's fine. <laughs> he should be able to win this. Right? He should technically be able to win this. Maybe we could even get the stagger, and then I don't have to worry about that at all. Huh? It certainly be kind of nice to have. But no. I mean, we did get the stagger now, at least. Okay, so he got the stagger. I have three talismans. Don't be a waste to not go for it. Slash. Slash. And I guess the 38 would be good, since it does 84. Okay, yeah, that should do a lot of damage, huh? There we go. Oh, we are sure. Yes! Slash her apart! Slash her apart! With a lot of rapture! And then Force comes along. And. Didn't kill her because she survived on 1 HP! Ah! <laughs> the sinners were fatigued and damaged. Some already did. As opposed to us, Firma still stands triumphantly. She reaches for the inside of Sinclair's coat, in what seems like a declaration of his fate. How is that supposed to be a triumphant? You are covered in blood, my girl! Covered in blood! Now then, it is time, Sinclair. I'll be taking the second coin. Your last chance. Why are you... Doing this to me? Why me? Oh, Sinclair! Do you want to know why I gave you back the basement key when you asked? Listen close. It's not because I made my discovery or baked a copy of it. It's because you were my key. You see, I happen to know of a way to take a peek at the future that might come true. Future? I saw one among them, where you and I traveled nest to nest, slaughtering heretics together all around the city. 
even though you're a race for heretics, bearing revolting metal bodies. Part of you still feel disgusted by them. Funny, isn't it? You would stab them into their heads with your halberd. Don't you lie to me. Well, I smash the head with a hammer. Stop it. <laughs> in that world, you look like the freest person in the universe. Transcending everything. No. You're lying. Whether I'm lying or not. <laughs> Krima suddenly cracked a whirly laughter and stopped moving. The golden barrow. The gold barrow on the altar resonated with her cracked and began to glow brighter. Then. Uh oh. Uh oh, she's glowing. The eye. The eye. <laughs> ah, it began. At last, my final grudge will be lifted. Alright, I fulfilled. Oh god, I didn't read that right. A mass of flesh engulfed her lower half. From the hideous organic growth, bottles of ambiguous appendant stretches outward in countless numbers? As if desires and madness were made manifest. What? Oh! Torture devices? Arms? A gigantic mouth? And red and blue veins. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything to this. Kong Sinclair. Rip me up. Shoo me down. If you can, that is. <laughs> okay. Thank you for sparing me to see the high definition of uh, the top part of this whole... She looks like that worm thing. She literally looks like that worm thing, just that the eyes aren't there. Ooh. Oh, the, wait, the, the, the lyrics changed. Maybe that was when... I choose to stay taller, falter, lights, a star, a voice, a twisted thought. Wait, it's the lyrics. It's the lyrics. She's singing. Oh, well then I guess I don't have to read this then, huh? <laughs> the lyrics are going to read that out for me. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, she has a bunch of stuff. Uh, no effect on that. No effect on that. Lots of bind and paralysis. That's not good. At the start of the turn, if a broke brat, she still has the recovery thing with a tick up. And a bunch of other passives that I don't think I even want to know, huh? Yeah, I don't think I want to know that. Okay, how do I start this? How do I start this? Seems like a good selection. I need to go for a, for a clash. She does both of them don't have anything good against... Oh, she also has instinct. Please don't tell me that you act like the dog. I'm telling you. If you act like the dog, this is going to be... How many body parts do you have? More right arm, left arm. Okay. Seeing how you're blocking this, I should probably take care of the, the arms first. Huh? Probably. Okay, everyone... Oh wait, that's passed. That's fine. That's fine. Everyone is faster. Thing is, Foss has to take care of this one instead because it's a little bit too fast. But that's still fine. The others can take care of the first dices. And everyone else is tackling the fiver coin. Okay. That was the first win. 
Are we able to stagger it before it gets a chance to fight back? I would prefer that. I would really- Ooh, no! Okay. 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 <laughs> I didn't- I did get my attack down, but it's fine. I take it. As long as they don't lose, right? As long as they don't lose, I take it. I seriously take it. Okay, let's see. False has the speed of the world with 12. Guess I have to take care of this one again. Ooh, that's kind of high. What's this? Ecstasy. All the more physical resistance changes to fatal. Okay. Instinct becomes aggressive. Is that a maw? Yeah, that's a maw. Uh, you know what? I think I would prefer if uh, you applied to paralysis. Yeah. Yeah, applies to paralysis. <laughs> we might need that. We might actually need that. Oof, this is not good. How about this? Could work. I can't go for ego. Since, uh... You are inflicting burn, right? Yeah, I can't go for ego. But I am able to weaken her a little. Let's do that then. Sinclair? Continue doing some slight amount of damage on the right arm, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Okay. Let's see, am I able to get the stagger? I don't think I got the stagger. I'm still I was still able to see some yellow on it. And it really is just bind it for now. And the next round is going to be super weak as well. I think the heat clip, the next couple of clashes will be a bit easier thanks to paralysis. It's also going to be a bit faster as well. Even though he doesn't really need it, so it's quite fine at all. Oh god! Yoshu! No! <laughs> oh god, it's so disgusting! This is so disgusting of a form! Ooh. Mass attack? Uh, if the target's HP is below 30%, plus 100 damage. I see. Well, good for us. That isn't the case. And maybe stay at the other arm as well, hopefully, if we have a chance. I'm not entirely sure if I need to clash with everyone against that girl, though. It is some kind of mass attack, right? Ooh. Okay, okay, yeah, he took. Come on. I was supposed to say. She got the 16. Even though she was supposed to get zero. She was supposed to get zero. And I didn't even get that one. Oh, how unlucky this. Okay. Down to 400. The ball is almost staggered. The arm is staggered. The other arm still needs some work. Okay. How many talisman do I have? None. Okay, great. That's just... This one actually goes to results, so we're going to swap that around. Is that better? Yeah, that seems to be better. Okay, let's get ready. Well, okay. Another good hit. Now we're just going to bind her again for the next round. There we go. Not a good hit. A little bit of attack and haste for Heathcliff. I think I was using the green skill on Ryoshu, right? Yeah, so next round I'm going to get a boost on my slash attacks as well. If I get my hits, at least. Which I wasn't able to get that much. Chroma's breathing heavily. Perhaps it's the side effect of the transformation. Maybe that whole thing is still unstable. Her pause is... Her posture is unstable, and her eyes are looking elsewhere. With her focus disrupted, we might be able to land a critical strike. 
Why is it Raph again? <laughs> it's always Raph! Heathcliff, how does it feel? Can you do it? Is anybody better? Nobody's better. Yeah, you know what, Heathcliff? Do it. Yeah! <laughs> everything with Raph! <laughs> He's got everything with Raph! Heathcliff circles around Furma's fleshy mass to disorient her. Of course, soon enough she let down, uh, down her guard. Heathcliff didn't miss the chance to deliver a devastating blow. And just like that, it, it seems like it was really pretty effective. A deep, deliberate wound was left on Kroma's body. Could this be it? Maybe? Kroma's dream of human holiness got staggered. A free stagger? Oh, she's so dead. Oh, she's so dead. She is so freaking dead. I'm even going to use the fairy because we're we are killing her with style. We're killing her with style. I'm even going to apply the... You know what? Everyone! Everyone except Force because that ability is stronger. Everyone except Force is going to go for the eagles because we freaking can <laughs> if she's even able to survive this I'm not even sure how much health she has <laughs> never delays style points right the style points oh so Claire got her oh no wait Aww, you serious Does he have a third wave? The fleshy hill exudes potent acid, melting Sinclair's leg. All the other sinners were being dissolved by the cautious secretion too. He dripped and hit the ground. No, perhaps I should say he was thrown off his feet. In spite of that, he still crawled towards Chroma. Yes, that's, that's it. It hurts, doesn't it? it? You're filled with rage, aren't you? Accept it all. Welcome it with your open arms. And watch me. Watch my glorious body. Closest to the purest form of humanity than ever before. This flesh here. This sheer, unmatched strength of purity. Ah, Sinclair. Look how human you are. You can become just like me too. I'll... You are... Sinclair, you were scared all along, weren't you? You lost your family, and you had to ride a bus with these strangers, forced to do things you didn't want it. You knew it in your heart that it didn't belong there, right? Then you wanted to run. Then you wanted to quit it all. Am I wrong? I swear I... Join me, Sinclair. Don't avoid this! Embrace it! Complete my grudge! Okay. The arm Sinclair was using to hold his weapon was growing limp by the second. He nevertheless continued in Chroma's direction. You must accept the pain! Only when we have transcended suffering itself can we be reborn! Blow the flesh! Spill the blood! Adding on the most human thing each second to the purest world where the impurities play the city of all forms have been filtered out. Mama, Papa, Sis, Sinclair ventedly mutters, looking at the face of his now dead fellow sinners. I couldn't leave him like this. Sinclair, listen to me! I'm embarrassed that it took me so long to take actions. But it was better late than never. Act like the manager I am. I know you think a lot. I know there's a lot going on in your head that you can't share with others. That is how he was. Worried that he might be a burden, he constantly put his mind through doubts and rumination, most of which he never let on about. He chewed up many a thought in the form of guilt. My family died because of me. I said stuff I really shouldn't have. Exactly. It's all your fault. So embrace it. 
That is the way to become wholly reborn. Follow me and rest in my grip. Don't listen to her. You have to see. Look at her. Observe her carefully. Do you want to become anything like her? That's absolutely disgusting. Right? Alas, my voice didn't seem to reach him. Ugh. Sinclair's weapon leaves his hand and lands on the ground. His advance for Chroma has stopped. Yep, it looks like this is the end for us. I can feel my body melting into the mound. I knew I would die trying to play the proper manager sooner than later. But... Sinclair, come on! <laughs> You're literally the only one left! I have to tell him more. I have to tell him that Chroma's spewing a heap of lies, threats, hypocrisy, and exaggerational stuff like that. Every nerve in my body is screaming that I shouldn't give up on him. I can feel the burning pain of my melting body. Look, look closely, Sinclair. Not with your eyes, but with your heart. I screeched at Sinclair. Only then will you see what matters most. Only, Only then, then will you see, see what matters, matters most. most. That moment, someone quietly appeared. Damien? And when you see the things that matters most, you won't have to stifle yourself with shallow threats or sheep tricks. Isn't that right, Sinclair? Huh? Okay. Do I, do I need to click? He can fly! He can actually fly! <laughs> okay! He moved with grace and airiness, as though he floats in the air. He seemed lighter than anyone else, unbound by anything. Contrary to his impression of freedom from all worldly longings, an oppressive air seems to accompany every step he took. And with just a wave of his right arm. She did. Seems like it. Chroma's upper body vanished in a clear cut. What just happened? That sound felt familiar. That flash reminded me of uh, Freischütze. But that sound was different. Almost like... Uh, Maybe funeral of the dead butterflies? The butterfly man? He also liked to sherm with that sound every time he shot his gun. But it was a slash, a wave of the the hand. It was different. Damien. You've changed your own fate, Sinclair. Right now, you're neither a coward nor a hero. But you've still yet to let go of your fears completely. I've said it before, haven't I? When you fear someone, that's because you gave them the power to have control over you. That is right. And I don't want anyone else to domineer over you. Which is why I got rid of that chroma. The man referred to as Damien then started to walk. He took every steps as though he were embarking on a light trip. The world is about to head for a new birth, and only a few individuals can get there. Sinclair, you're one of them. Sinclair fainted before he could answer. Damien slowly made his way over to me. Chroma, attempted to become a god like those which people of the past were set to believe in, Sinclair almost became her stepping stone. In the end though, one has to break an egg on their own. Chroma put in quite a bit of effort, doing this and that to create a throwback to the time when Sinclair lost his first coin. Irregardless of the fact that Christmas is still a while away. It's ironic that they resorted to create false imagery, something they loaded so deeply, don't you think so? What are you talking about? Who are you? A pleasure to meet you, Doctor. You know me? So you're the adult who will condition Sinclair at the moment. As for who I am, 
and for what I'm talking about. <laughs> you will see in due time. Huh? <laughs> when Sinclair takes flight with unshakable fate in the power of the heart. Right. When he becomes one with beautiful stars. That is when I return. Take good care of Sinclair until then, Dante. You... Wait, you can act- Wait! I almost forgot that! You can hear him?! <laughs> I can hear all sorts of shirts and twills, Dante. It's only natural that I can hear your voice. As always. What matters most is something you can't see or hear. The boy with the blue scarf vanishes without notice. After that, the mound begins to melt away. They dissolve into a mixture of flesh and mud. With them gone, a single golden barrow appear before me, spreading its warm light. Sinclair's word was gradually melted with the hills. I exuberantly dragged what's left of my body across the floor to reach at least Sinclair, huh? Are you alright, my boy? <laughs> he was still breathing. And so was I. I figured I should still be able to turn the clock. Thus, that means I'm still their manager and I should act like one. Plus, as I learned in my dying moments, I have to strive to become a more sensible manager. With all that, I need to tell him. It might have been your fault, Sinclair. But that's okay, really. It's one small mistake, one anyone could have made. Don't beat yourself up so much about it. I pat him on the back with my half-melted right arm. Sinclair doesn't reply. To be truthful, trying to identify someone to blame all this on would be a never-ending endeavor. From each of us, going and carrying our sin onto the bus. To my loss of heads and memories, accompanied by an involuntary appointment as the executive manager. At the root of it all, I might find no one but myself to blame. Staying bound by that fact, though, will only keep us from taking our next step. We found them. I could hear multiple footsteps approaching our horribly incapacitated team. Virtuous must have figured out we would get into a mess and call the after team to scoop us off the ground. This looks like the individual we seek. Do I check it now? The others can be revived as long as this one lives. Focus all resources on restoring their body. Ugh, like me? I felt a jab in my shoulder, and then a strange sensation envelops the part of my body that had melted off. We were provided 3 HP bullets. They use all 3 of them. Keep an eye on the regenerative process and use them at your discretion. Lucky scrap hangers. They are rolling in luxury. Thanks to having a color on the team. One with a friend and cake on the dad, too. Action confirmed. Added. The voice around me start to fade. Sinclair's sprawling lamentation dimly rings through the emptiness. Our third mission marked its sober end in dismal defeat. Well, I wouldn't really say that we've got defeated, though. I mean, technically, we would have beaten her up if she, she kind of cheated near the end. She just slashed us away. I wasn't even... We had so much health left, you know? <laughs> that shouldn't have done so much damage. <sighs> even though we've recovered the golden barrow, we have lost. On the other hand, the bus was more vibrant than usual. Possibly out of everyone's attempt to disregard the depression outcome. I brought enough chicken kebab for all of you to have one. So if anyone didn't get theirs, go and put your detective caps on by yourself. Huh, such curious cuisine. What does the intention of skimmering chicken meat with a stick? I may be familiar with this kind of dish. A koichi of the dark variety. A sweet smell, the kind Mephi likes. Stimulated, Sharon revved the engine. Sharon was humming another familiar tune. I could recognize the song this time. Sharon, isn't Christmas still a long way off? Don't put a damper on Sharon's fun. 
fuck guy? <laughs> if Shaman feels like it's Christmas, then that's that. But come on, I called you by your name for once. Well, why don't you just settle the score by giving her a bus girly then, huh? <laughs> you know, tit for dad and all that. God. Virgilus was watching the scene unfold, leaving his food to cool and hardly taking a bite even though he was the one who brought it all. Perhaps he's gone quiet because of Sharon's song. It does come to mind that he said he was as she was going through the tunnel. And then I turned my gaze to Sinclair, who was awkwardly laughing amongst the other sinners. If we're going through a long tunnel, then what we do is waiting for the morning to arrive, right? Huh? <laughs> what was that about, Dante? Drop that goofy poetry and have a cabba. Come on, say ya! Our manager has no mouth. The executive manager has no need for a mouth. They are perfectly capable of commanding us even without words. Do keep that in mind. True. Golly, did they ever get tired of licking their boots so clean, Otis? <laughs> Oi, got more of this scrans? It peaks. Hey, big guy, give me a light. Though I wouldn't know what's the short for. Big guy or buck guy? Your preference? I would prefer big. <laughs> I thought about giving a speech to the sinner about how this fruitful yet unsuccessful mission changed my mind. But I soon shelved the idea. I told Sinclair to not let the failure of the moment bind him after all. Instead, I've resolved to make up for this less than ideal outcome on our next mission. May I have thy attention, Red? I mean, Sir Virgilus? What? <laughs> I don't believe I have acted with sufficient caution as you have warned me, right? Thus, if I may, would you allow me to lay claim upon a school? Go right ahead. As Don's excited revelation added a layer of vigor to the already lively bus. The message I couldn't speak, but only I'm sure has been conveyed in one way or another, spread between us. And so the morning came. And the credits roll. Tell 
괜찮아 